as our work on the most insane Warhammer diorama continues, featuring two $2,000 Warlord Titans, it is now time for me to paint the second Warlord Titan! Titan. On top of that, it will find out if I actually mess up all of these amazing freehands when I try to make them fit with the rest of the Titan. A few weeks back, Emil finished his Titan. And as all of us know, I'm actually better at everything than Emil. But for some reason, the son of a bitch actually painted his Titan and made it look really, really, really freaking cool. Which now means I actually have to put in some effort to try to make it equally good or hopefully better. Woo. We got it all primed and ready to be painted. And the by far easiest way to paint big panels like this is with the airbrush, but sometimes that makes it feel a little bit fake. And to get the most possible texture out of these panels, I'm gonna use Emmett's favorite. Sponge gun and some gray. We've got all the basic grays done and before we move on to actually shading them and pulling in some new colors, I think I'm gonna do some really cool yellow hazard stripes because I think that is gonna tie the Traitor Titan really well together and make it more interesting than just gray. I think that's gonna look amazing. What? <laughs> you already tired, Lucas? I'm not tired. You're tired. Get back to work. You're tired. You can be work. You're tired. <laughs> As you guys saw in the video where we asked artists on Fiverr to paint our freakingly amazing Warlord Titan panels with amazing free hands, we got some pretty freaking cool results. And uh, apparently it's now my job to not ruin them by painting the trims and weathering them down. This is not a hassle at all and I'm not scared at all because... Uh, yes. So I'm pretty much finished with three of the amazing looking panels and I gotta say they, they're turning out great. It's coming together very well. So uh, I have to mass produce like uh, one trillion more panels now.
Okay, I don't know for how many days I've been painting these rims, but on a positive side, I can finally move on to painting something else on the Mini. I still have my biggest fear left, which is painting the weathering effect on all of the amazing freehands to make it fit with the rest of the panels, but I feel like I'm just gonna frick everything up. So before I do that, I think I'm gonna do some of my own freehands on the more boring panels, and then hopefully build up the courage to start messing up the freehands. Hold on, if you don't know about this week's sponsor, Witchsong Miniatures, by now, you're missing out. While most 3D printing brands charge anywhere from $9 to $12 a month, Witchsong Miniatures only charge $1 a month. And everything they create is hyper detailed and comes pre supported and pre hollowed for you guys to just press print. On top of that, every month Witchsong now partners with another miniature brand on My Mini Factory to provide Witchsong subscribers with a totally free one month trial to that smaller creator. And because they never fail to treat you guys special, they're also handing out not one but two amazing models for free to Squidmore viewers who back the tribe. The super popular Lady of the Grove and the awesome Rorena Pride Mother. All this for just one dollar a month, so what are you guys waiting for? All of the links will be in the video description. Okay, the time has come. I really need to do the weathering of the panels. So, please, God, save me. You've been quite nervous with that weathering. Yes. I think you did a good job. Thank you. Are you happy? I am happy. <laughs> How much uh, stress is lifted off your shoulders now? I would say seven. Seven out of ten? I'll take it. What are you, what are you going to do now? I have no idea. Ha ha! Joke's on you. I know exactly what to do. The innards of the Titan look quite lame at this point. So I think I'm gonna make myself an oil wash, drench it, and hopefully that's gonna make the innards look just as cool as the outside. Here I am, thinking we're finally finished with the Traitor Titan, ready to glue all the panels to the big boy. What do I find? I've missed one horn and the gold trims on the entire piece. This means I have to spend more time painting. Remake everything from scratch, let's do this. Are you happy? I'm so happy. You're done, no I'm more trims? Finally, we're all done with the traitor titans and loyalist titans, no more titans. <laughs> Feels quite good. So next week we're gonna fix some details on the minis. I think uh, we're gonna have some fun, maybe. Yeah. But I'm actually mostly excited about the resin pour. So subscribe so you don't miss the massive resin pours. I guess it's time for a grand reveal. reveal.
thank you patrons for pledging a few dollars every month. We um, love you for doing that. And a massive thanks to this week's sponsor. Which song? Very cool minis, Wandara. Go check it out.